from ClarkWoods.com. This is Horribly Off Topic, episode number 208. I'm Chris. And I'm Steve. And I have a very important question for you, Steve. What is your question? Where is Dyluck? Dyluck? Where is Dyluck? I don't know. I have to play more Secret of Mana to find out. Where is Dyluck? Or Secret of Mana. Dyluck, last last I saw you, you were playing uh, this, this game, Secret of Mana. Um, mana, 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 mana. You say you say manana, I say mana, manana. Really, we're supposed to say manana. Um, no, mana. Um, it, secret of mana. Um, and I was uh, playing it on my SNES Classic. Yes, you can and, pick it up today at your local Target store, and you should. Although they don't sponsor this episode. No, they don't, and Nintendo has not, and never will sponsor, sponsor this episode. Say, in fact, yeah, probably not, or or the show in general. But you know, I like giving people free plugs. I mean, it's yeah. it was one of those things that uh, yeah, I just fucking started doing at the beginning of the just, show. Just like doing. Why the, get advertisers when you could do this shit I, for free? You know, you know that is the, that is the way to go, Steve. That's that's oh, that, but that's the new that's the new economy here at the uh, the late stage capitalism. You know, that's that's how you do it. I like how we keep on calling it late stage capitalism, but it doesn't seem to go away. No, <laughs> it's, um. So you were you were at uh, Dialuck, um, Nintendo. You gave some free advertising because it's late stage capitalism. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, it doesn't seem to if, go no, away. No, if uh, reminder, you can go to clarkwoods.com. Mm. Is it slash hot? Slash hot. Yeah, and uh, there's a donate button or yeah. something. And there's a donate link. It throw says, so throw some cash our way if you feel like it yeah. for crying out loud. Yeah, I mean we're then we're we te- won't be quite doing this for free. <laughs> yeah, we we're telling you all the cool things for free. You know, you, the le- least you could do is is throw us some some change. Yeah. Um, so Dialuck is, uh, Dialuck is related to, to Thanatos, not to be confused with Thanos. Yeah. He, well, no, he was a guy from this town and mm. in this area. And then the, the, I'm going to refrain from calling the characters, the names that I gave them because okay. it's like, you know, lame when you just call right. them like your, your name and then <laughs> like your significant other's name. And then you pick up some random other name. Right. Yeah. So it's like, there's the boy, there's mm-hmm. the girl and there's the Sprite. Okay. Um, and the girl is, is, uh, was in love with, or is in love with dialogue. And, mm. and so there's, but he got like possessed by like the evil empire, which is a, Oh, okay. Do they do they uh, do they uh, wear k- cool white uniforms? No, kill, no, okay, kill people. Um, yeah, no. So, so a different evil empire. Do yes. they wear pinstriped uniforms? Oh no, not that evil empire. <laughs> I think at this point, like, I mean, yeah, the Yankees do have the most World Series wins, yeah. like, and and it it will remain for many years. Mm-hmm. I mean, and every once in a while, when they do win another one, that's another yeah. another unsurmountable like mountain to climb because like i think they they won they have won at least twice as the is the second place amount of uh of world series victories yeah yeah they they will never be uh surmounted as as, as you say i mean it it could happen like like the red sox or the cardinals Mm -hmm. i'm trying to think of the of the teams that have won a you know reasonable amount right um the Red Sox or the Cardinals, I, th- I think, are the the two top ones, um, and so they could they, we we could go on a fucking like go on a 20, tear. 20 year tear where we mm. win every year, or the Cardinals could do the same, yeah, or we could each win ten of those twenty, and then you know then we'd be I think on top of the Yankees, but yeah. like that that would be the only thing that could happen. You know, it would it would be it would be because I don't know if like baseball is baseball going to exist mm. in a hundred years. I think baseball will exist. I think baseball is one of those things that, like soccer, will continue to exist. How long has soccer been around? So, I mean, soccer's soccer's fucking like soccer, and people like soccer despite the fact that it's not really a sport. Um, <laughs> Don't you fucking do this again, Chris. <laughs> um, right. But soccer, I think soccer will endure because enough people are enamored of the way that soccer plays out. They, they like the sport. They like the... the the, they, they like the did you sport. watch that ludicrous display last night <laughs> um and i think baseball i feel like baseball is the same i feel like they are both um activities that you can sit around with your your buddies your family and a bunch of beer and barely pay attention to um and uh you know call it call it you're you're inter- interested in sports it's you know i think baseball why do you think baseball won't be around 
I don't know, like, because, I mean, in in certain areas, like maybe Boston or mm. New York or other parts of the country that have, like, a uh, rather successful baseball franchise. Right. Uh, I think it will it will do well in these areas, but, like, there's going to be a time where, like, people, like... People can't stop looking at their fucking screens for five seconds enough <laughs> to watch a fucking baseball game or like and, right. And by a lot of aspects, baseball is boring. Mm. And I'm glad to hear you say that. I mean, it is. But like, it's the perfect like in the background game, like mm-hmm. you were saying. It's it's yeah. it's 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 fine if you're having a get together. Right. You can have the baseball game on. Yeah. And you can walk away from it and come right. back and be like, oh, okay, so not much has happened. Oh, or like, oh, they scored two runs. I hope they show a replay yeah. or something. Yeah. Same with soccer. You can walk. You can walk away. You can, you can walk, walk away, away through for, the entire game for and three like, hours, and it'll still be zero zero, and the, the, the guys will still be. Uh, it would be nil nil. Oh, I'm sorry, Chris. Z Z. No. <laughs> Um, no, I think baseball will still be around. I mean, I, I feel like baseball is elemental in a certain way. Like, I don't know. There's something There's something simpler about baseball than something like um, football. I mean, football also has... American football, that is. Um, American football has all of these complexities to it. That, and all that, these rule changes that they have to make every year because the Patriots kept on winning. Right. Well, but also, and so they've got all these complexities that make it hard for the average person to just sit down and understand what the hell is happening with a football game, right? Whereas with a baseball game, you got there's a guy throwing a ball at another guy. The guy, the, the second guy has a ba- has a bat, and if he hits the ball far enough or away from the other dudes with the gloves then he gets to run around bases. Like, I don't... It, it's not... <laughs> it's not that baseball is simple, but I feel like I think it, a competent person, not me, could explain it in, like, 30 no, seconds I mean, you, to you, a child. I mean, that's fine. Like, I think your explanation was adequate, Chris, okay, so don't worry. Um, I think it... I think the reason why we have maybe a, a tiny bit more affinity for baseball is mm. that it's the one sport that we both played <laughs> <laughs> yes yeah i i think so i, I think that is um that is although fair. probably not very successfully no no i mean i played successfully when um uh i was about to say her name there was a girl named kaylee kaylee m um who was on and her dad coached my little league no i thought your dad coached your little league. he coached yeah no it was like what's before little league peewee league See, that's what my cousin. But I don't think we had Pee Wee League. We had. I was in Pee Wee League, and I was okay. I, was I on your team or like or I, I don't was know on a team with John with your dad as the coach or was okay. I not? I don't even know. But there was a team that I was on with Kaylee M and her dad. Um, that was like prior to my dad taking over Little League, and when when the dads threw the baseballs. Yeah, that was Pee Wee. I I was awesome. Like, when the dad threw the baseballs, I could hit that fucking thing. Yeah, because they were um, kind of lobbing it to you. you yeah. That, that's, that's, the, that's the way I like it. It was it was easy. It was easy, easy peasy. Um, yeah, no, it's... Uh, I don't know. There is something There is something about baseball that I feel like will keep baseball around. I think even despite football's complexity, football has another problem going for it, which is the injuries. The um, injuries and, you know fucking saying telling the players that they can't fucking peacefully protest (laughs) yeah yeah it's you know um yeah okay um but i i think baseball and soccer also don't require a huge state you could have a huge stadium but soccer require. I mean, I think we've talked about this before when you talked about soccer and why soccer is popular and, and is a real sport. And it is that it just requires a few people and a ball. Yeah. Right. And, and you well, can, a couple of goals, but like you can you can use a, just two pylons or right. like two two traffic cones. Exactly. And with baseball, you know, stick ball was a thing. Yeah. Right. Or maybe still is a thing. Um, or dick ball. <laughs> <laughs> now, when you play dick ball, Steve, are you hitting your own balls or the other guy's balls? No, you're using your <laughs> dick to hit balls. Okay, but but the balls is the pitcher pitching his own balls at you? Like, is it a very close, close in proximity game? Like the pitcher takes his junk out and he 
starts lobbing, you know, part of his nutsack towards you and you hit it? Is that how Dick I'm Ball just going to say yes and then <laughs> yes and then and not. And <laughs> and, and scene. <laughs> and scene. Well, I mean, if you I feel like if you threw anything harder than a nutsack at a dick, it would hurt. I feel like hitting your dick against a nutsack would be maybe... Uh, All right, Chris, you're going to have... Okay, next, this, you got some homework to do. <laughs> okay. Wait, I have to hit my dick against someone's nutsack? Get, get your dick nice and hard. and okay. Not not nutsacks, but just okay. hit it against different things and see if it hurts <laughs> okay. or not. All right. All right, that's my homework. I will uh, I will get to work on that. Okay, good. No, right, do, save it for when you get, uh, save you get it, home. Save it when I get home. Okay. Or maybe in the car. I don't know, like... Ah, uh, that's indecent exposure. If I got pulled over with my dick out, I think I... Well, don't get pulled over then. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I mean... The guy, you're driving down the street, and then, like, cop's like, I swear I just saw that guy's dick. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> well, if I was driving with my dick, you know. I you just wrapped that, like, it around like a tentacle. <laughs> Jesus Christ, Chris, what are you packing? <laughs> No, I mean if I got it hard enough and I sort of stuck it in between, you know, like one of the one of the sides, I'd have to really angle. You could myself, get like you know. a little thing, like um, like when you're when you're in marching band, like and you would hold yes. the, the flag thing up. Uh-huh. You could have I one of those. Put that, that at the bottom of your steering wheel, right? And then you could get your put hard dick in there, in there, and then, and then <laughs> just be like, All right. shimmy while you're driving. <laughs> yeah, you know. Hands free. Yeah. That's, isn't that what they mean by hands free driving? <laughs> That's the episode. Hands free driving. I um, like it because it doesn't give enough away of where this conversation <laughs> developed. Right. Um, yeah. No, it's hands, it's hands free driving. Um, I got to take <laughs> one of these headphones off there. Squeezing my ears and squeezing my brain. Uh, maybe I'll be this one. I think okay. it's probably because of the full moon. Really? Is there a full moon? Well, yeah, there was last night when I was uh, coming back from the train. Mm-hmm. Like, uh, stayed. Oh, a that's little, right. That's right. I was a little. At, bit, oh, I was at the Pheasant Lane Mall. I was. Uh, I I stayed a little bit later, mm. uh, and I went to a four arcade after, after okay. work, and I played some pinball, and then had a couple of drinks, and then, and literally only a couple. I only had two because mm-hmm. um, wanted to be home safely. Yeah. Um. So yeah, I, 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 when I was walking back on on the at the train station to Mm. my car and it was about like eight eight o'clock and it was this the moon was huge in the sky and you know uh, it's so like the moon is so powerful Mm -hmm. like when it's full that it affects the tides okay so how can it not affect your brain which is 90 percent water ah I, 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 and my ears, which are which are connected to my brain. Yeah, your yeah. brain bone. <laughs> my brain bone. <laughs> now, if I hit my my, if I hit baseballs with my brain bone, no. Um, you had a birthday this week. Steve. I did. You I turned. Birthday. I turned almost forty. <laughs> almost forty. Almost forty. Um, and uh, did you do anything fun? Yes, we uh, we went to the Coolidge Corner Theater. And we saw a movie that is one of my favorite of all time. And mm. anybody that's uh, anybody that has listened to the show, uh, yeah, for any length of time would know the, the the Big Lebowski. The Big Lebowski is one of my faves. Not just the Little Lebowski. Darkness washed over the dude. <laughs> <laughs> you know, one of the okay. So my wife watches just as a side, not to get horribly off topic, but. My Too wife, late. My wife watches this show on Netflix called The Ranch. Have you have you heard about this show? It has. Yeah, but I've seen it on on like the these are things that are new. Yeah, like, yeah. And I'm it's, like, I don't know. It has the guy not, from '70s Show and and Sam Elliott. Yeah, yeah. So I, I bring it up because of Sam Elliott. You know, is it Sam Elliott or what? I think it's Sam Elliott. Or is that is that the guy from Jurassic Park? Oh shit. Um, I don't know. I'll gotta look at that. Uh, yeah, that's, that's. I think you're right that that other guy, the Jurassic Park guy, might be a Sam too. But um, I think I think it's Sam Elliott. I think Sam Elliott is the uh, is. Yes, the, I was right. Um, the Sam narrator. Neil is the one. Sam Neil, that's right. Is the Jurassic Park. The, guy. All these guys with their with their double with their double triple names, like like Earl Christopher Clark. Who would name somebody that? Three first names. Fucking. 
Um, Clark isn't a first name. Clark Griswold. Yeah, like up until you like Clark saw that. Kent. Oh, fuck that. <laughs> Clark is a last name. I've heard Clark way more as a last I, name yes, than absolutely. as a first name. Right, but you could make the case that I have three first names. You could, and so yeah. could anybody. I could just be like, oh, Woodbury is a first name. Yeah, someplace. you, you, you Bunbury I'll is just, a name in, in The Importance of Being Earnest. Bunbury? Bunbury. <laughs> See, Bunbury like, is their, is the, is their made-up friend, I think. Um, that they both use to uh, to get out of the country or get out of the city. Uh, they they go Bunburying, and Bunbury is is his name. He's not a real person, but, but Bunbury is their their they, Bunbury is like the guy that calls you on the cell phone to get you out of the awkward Tinder date. You know, well, <laughs> there was a uh, if you everybody's favorite movie, Spider Man Three. Mm. Um, mm-hmm. There's. Uh, underrated masterpiece. We watched uh, we watched it with uh, riff tracks one time, <laughs> and there's I, what is it? MJ is going through her phone, and uh-huh. she's she was gonna call Peter, right? Um, but then she there's a person right next to Peter in her, in her phone. His name is Finley Harlocker. <laughs> Can that be a t- no, no. Uh, Finley Harlocker? All right. Um, where is Dialogue? Who is Finley Harlocker? Uh, Harlocker? I think it's Harlocker. Okay. Who Wait. is Finley Harlocker? Okay. Um, and so she's got that. What was what was the riff tracks uh, take on that? Was they it- they were like, no, <laughs> you should call Finley Harlocker. I'd be like, <laughs> um. The so so Sam Elliott, not Sam Neill, is in this uh, in this show, the the ranch. I'll show you the picture here. You could use this as the as the image. Mm. Oh no, it was right next to Harry's name. Oh, next to Harry's name is Finley Harlocker. <laughs> <laughs> um, that doesn't look look at that list. It doesn't even make any sense, right? Because it's got like an H and a G. No, no, but that's I, Amelia Getzner, Getzinger. Sorry. Oh, uh, okay. F- F- I don't know what the I. Oh, Finley. Oh, she she's got them alphabetized by first name. Yeah. But it's close. It's like you've got a Finley Harlocker, Harry Osborn, and then what's the next person? I, I Amelia Getzinger. Yeah. So it looks like it could be alphabetized either way, except Harry Osborne. She does not have a lot of people in her phone because then it's, it goes to Juliet Gelfman and then Peter Parker. Hmm. Mary Jane doesn't have a lot of friends. Why do you think that is? Mary Jane may be kind of a, of a bitch. Like, you know, like is she 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 kind of not friendly. She's a she's a competitive in the, the New York theater scene. She kind of doesn't doesn't make friends because she likes to screw people over. Like, wh- why does why she, does I don't MJ think she likes to screw people over, and I don't think she really screwed anybody over. I think she got screwed over in that film. Yeah, well, and then she, she had I to mean, work at the piano bar, and then yeah. greasy Peter Parker slips in yeah. with his new new uh, new uh, new venom drink, new eye yeah. candy. No, it's not. Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, his eye candy. Yeah, who's his eye candy of that? His 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 uh, his pal. It's uh. It's somebody. It's what's her butt. The uh, what you're you're making me forget too. Um. Oh, is it Gwen Stacy? Yeah. Oh, so it's it's like um future redhead and Jurassic uh, Jurassic World uh person uh that what's her name I can't remember. Sure. Yeah. Related to Ron Howard. I think. I think I think it's like a she she she's a Howardite, a Howardson. Okay. Cool. Howard's daughter. But yeah, um, so Finley Harlocker. I, I used to have like a, a Finley Harlocker. I, I used to I changed the name of one of the people in my phone to Finley Harlocker for mm. funsies. <laughs> <laughs> I should do that. I, I now that I know who uh, Finley Harlocker is, I, I should. You just have to remember like that it's that well, like who, actually, who that person is so when they when you get a text or a call well not right. that anybody calls anybody anymore yeah but when you get a text from like that person you're like oh who the fuck is this well see this is where i would use it i used to have um set up there's a website called if this then that and it uses uh recipes is i think how they refer to it and one of their recipes was if i text a message or or just text um uh, nonsense to this particular number. In this case, I would I would write the number as as Finley Harlocker, right? Yeah. Then a phone, then an automated phone service will call me 
right? So if I'm theoretically, I'm supposedly in the middle of a, a I mean, I'm married. So this, I didn't have any use for this, but I set it up anyway, just to see how it was possible. Um, so you're in the middle of a bad date, right? You say, oh, just hold on a second. I gotta, I gotta text a friend. So you text the friend, right? Um, or maybe you even do this on the sly under the table. It goes to if this, then that, if this, then that makes your phone ring. And you can say, oh, that's my, it's my pal Finley Harlocker. Of course. <laughs> it's my pal Finley Harlocker. The person gotta, with the ridiculous I gotta, name. I got to get out of here. Yeah, yeah. Because I'm sorry. This, is, this has right, been folks, lovely. All right, folks, if but... you're out there dating still, this is a, this is a thing you can do. <laughs> Have Finley Harlocker. Finley Harlocker call you. <laughs> mm. So Sam Neill. I mean, uh, Sam. Uh, Elliot. Sam Elliot. Um, In the Big Lebowski. Sam Elliot. Well. As the narrator. Yes, but. He's in this is this uh, series, The Ranch, which Stephanie watches, and I I hate it. It's it's, I think it's, I feel like it's trying to it, it's pretending to be satire, um, of conservatives, um, in on a ranch in Texas or wherever the fuck it is. But I really don't think it's actually satire. I think, I mean, maybe Sam Neill is doing it as satire. Maybe to a certain extent, um, uh, Ashton Kutcher is doing it as satire. Ashton Kutcher is in it too. Yeah. Um, Ashton Kutcher is one of Sam Elliott's kids, um, and the other one is—is uh, is it Danny Masterson? Yeah. Um, so two two people from that '70s show playing the kids of Sam Elliott, and I get the sense that, at least from some stuff that I've read, that it's not really satire for Danny Masterson. Like he's actually getting to be the conservative asshole he's always been, on on this show and I, I just it makes me uncomfortable they say really offensive things they swear a lot and stephanie doesn't seem to care that the kids are in the other room or that they'll wander in your dad swears a lot so i guess they're, they're hearing it in real life what the fuck is the difference I, of I them hearing it I just, on the fucking... maybe it's just that i don't i don't like the show i i maybe maybe i'm um um, um i'm a texophobe but um you know just, L- libtard not uh, libtard I like, L- lib- I, libtard i like texophobe better all right i'm afraid of texas Except or i'm afraid of texans i'm afraid of americans <laughs> <laughs> nice poll um i'm afraid of the world yeah we don't have i'm, to, I'm afraid we, you I don't can't. have to sing the whole song chris this. um i'm afraid i can't so how was the how was the big lebowski it was fun like we we got there a little bit late but it was fine we didn't miss any of the movie because yeah. um the uh they had like little uh, trivia contest mm-hmm. and uh, some like uh, people dressed up and they had a costume contest and yeah. whatever. And I think uh, who won? I don't know. I think it might have been like I wanted it to be Jackie Treehorn, the guy who dressed up as Jackie Treehorn, because mm-hmm. yeah. who fucking dresses up as Jackie <laughs> Treehorn, <laughs> right? And then like I think the other one that was really good was the the cop the the ch- chief of police from the city of Malibu was, okay. was also <laughs> also a fucking really like good a, that's fucking a costume like, yeah yeah um, I don't like your jerk off name. <laughs> what were there um, were there lots of dudes? There were pl- there, I think they had a separate like dude, oh, a separate dude 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 category. Co- dude ca- category. Were, there, were there any um, any ladies dressed up as the dude? There was a lady dressed mm. up. I think that yeah, there was two uh, ladies dressed up as the dude, but there was also yeah. a lady dressed up as Jesus. Uh, ooh, yeah. I I I dig it. Anybody? Dressed she was up sitting as, like in our row when the movie started. Anybody was, dressed up as Saddam Hussein? Uh, no, no. Okay. Um, any mods? It's mod, right? Mod? Yes, there was yeah. some mods. There was some mod. mod. Jeffrey, love me. <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome. That's that's. Uh, I, I I dig it. There's um, a lot of like like like. Uh, Ryan and I were talking after mm-hmm. the after the movie, and yeah. he's like he 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 was talking. He's like I forgot how much like actual like physical comedy there is in this movie. Yeah, like because just it. I mean, it's it's known for just like it's mostly it's dialogue, but there's right. a lot of just like silly shit. Yeah, like you know, of like you know, just silly Pratt, shit. Pratt fall. Like yeah. when the, like the like the dude's house gets broken into. Like the, yeah. I think the second or third time, right? He puts up a piece of wood. Yeah, and on the on the floor, and he props a chair next to it, <laughs> so he, people can't break in anymore. Yeah. Um, and then. Once he's done that, right. he goes into the other room, and then the door opens because the the 
the door opens the other way. Right. <laughs> I remember that now. Yeah. And then the chair just falls over. Were and then any- like later when he comes back, he trips on that board mm. that he put. <laughs> so it's just. Any nihilists? There were nihilists. There were nihilists. Okay. We believe in nothing. And th- there's like little bits about that movie that you never notice, like that, mm. or well, that you that you wouldn't notice unless someone really told right. you. But yeah. like the dude is in every scene in that movie. If there's like, mm. and like I was like, wait a minute, that scene where the nihilists are at the pancake house. Yeah. But mm-hmm. if like you watch that scene, they order the pancakes, and then Walter's van drives by with the dude in it. All right. I, I see I see what you're doing. Which there. which is the segue into the next scene, which Got is it. them driving to the Big Lebowski's house. Um, Spoilers if you haven't fucking seen it. I, it's, it's, if you haven't fucking seen it, you should stop listening to this podcast right now. Press pause. Go watch the Big Lebowski and come back. I want lingonberry pancake. <laughs> <laughs> I actually have some fucking lingonberry um, uh, in my in my fridge at home from when we went to Ikea. You actually bought some lingonberry? I bought some lingonberry Did you get one jam. of those big cinnamon buns? That, like, I'm, This is like the things that I'm jealous of as a no, keto person. No, I didn't. Um, I should have. Just fucking nothing but like sweet bread and fucking icing on it. Oh, I didn't get I didn't see that. No, oh, we that, got... That's when you're leaving. That's like you get oh, okay. the cinnamon no, buns or you get a hot dog or something. Yeah, we were... Um, I don't know if the kids got anything from that. But we we went to the little Swedish um, uh, grocery grocery there and bought some stuff there. But I don't think I think maybe they went over and got like a slushy or something. Yeah, very. Those Swedish. cinnamon buns are so fucking good. They're like a like a better version of a cinnabon. Oh, that's good. Like it, it doesn't. You don't feel quite as gross after eating. <laughs> I'm on this um, oh, cinnabon uh, diet. No, no, no. But I'm on this. Uh, the, you know what? You know what Slack is. Um, the messaging like, app for for teams and and stuff. Anyway, so I'm going messaging to, app for teens. That, 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 I'm going to this conference um, in uh, in a couple weeks called uh, XOXO. You mean the one that you're missing my bachelor party for? Yeah, I, I'm familiar. <laughs> um, so I'm going to be in Portland, and one of the threads that not recently- the Portland that I'm going to be, in, <laughs> mind you, the other one. I, and this thread popped up <laughs> about donut shops in Portland. Um, and There's a good donut shop in Portland, Maine. Is there? Yeah, it's Holy Donut. They make them out of. Um, uh, potatoes, oh, potato, interesting. potato donuts. Interesting. Yeah. Can you have those? Because they're potato. Wait, no, you. Can't. No, I can't have fucking donuts. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't know. I was thinking maybe you knew that they had potato donuts because you. I can might have splurge potato. and have actual pancakes when I'm up there, okay. like for for the my my hangover the next morning. All right, here you go. Um, the so anyway, there was this thing about um uh about uh which donut shop in Portland was the best, and they were talking about how um. Different people had different feelings about voodoo donuts, which I guess started up in... Uh, up voodoo! In yeah, running uh, from my donuts. Um, up in Portland. Although I, I would think voodoo would have been started in Nolens, because that seems to be what their what their MO is. Um, I had a voodoo donut in Universal Studios. Oh, they have a, they have a, they have a little branch there? Yeah, oh. they have one right outside the parks. Um, and I had heard about the Universal uh, Creamsicle Donut, which I had. Which was like almost made me want to go uh, on on the diet that you're on because it was so fucking much sugar. I was like, you know what? I don't need sugar for you the rest of my goddamn. I mean, life. you don't have to fucking go keto. You can just cut sugar yeah, out no, like, I significantly, yeah. right. and that that will probably make you more healthy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. In fact, like you know, uh, maintaining keto is is really hard. So like. Yeah. I can imagine going from zero to sixty probably wouldn't be a no, good idea. No. But I, I just mean that like I there was so much sugar in it that I I was like I don't need sugar for the rest of the day. It's uh, it was for the rest of my life. For the rest of my life. Um. So you went and saw Lebowski. Did you do anything else on your birthday? Well, yeah, we birthday? went to um. <laughs> there's always pinball involved. <laughs> there is always pinball. Involved. We went to That's okay. We went to Hopewell Bar and Kitchen and um had a couple of beverages. Mm-hmm. Not not uh not. Uh, not Caucasians or anything. We, oh, okay. we didn't have a uh, nice little Kahlua and vodka or anything. Okay. No, but yeah, because we can't have Kahlua. Oh. All right, but um, you had some drinks. Yes, yeah, we had a couple of beverages, mm-hmm. and then we had a uh, some Brussels sprouts, and Ryan had some some fish and chips, and I had okay. I had a I had a bunless burger mm-hmm. and nice some some veggies on the side. Or no, I think it was just a salad. 
Yeah. So. And um, what did Becky have? I forget what she had. Just something different, though. Yeah. No, think, but no, no white Russians. No, I mean, no, no white. Color. Yeah, there was. Yeah, well, you know, you can call them whatever you want. <laughs> uh, two oat sodas, Gary. <laughs> we played uh, played a little bit of pinball. Uh-huh. Um, I had a really good game of um, Lord of the Rings. Mm-hmm. Well, not it wasn't exceptional. No, it wasn't leaderboard worthy. Oh, okay. But I, they like thirty something million, which is yeah. that that game. It's really hard to score points. Like mm. there are like like modern pinball machines that if you play like cause if you play like fucking Attack from Mars, which I played last night a little mm. bit, mm-hmm. um, I scored and it sucked because like the replay was at four million. I scored. 398 million. Oh, <laughs> I'm like, are you fucking? Wow. Or oh, sorry. Or no, sorry. 3 billion 998 million. <laughs> <laughs> so you had to get up to 4 billion. I needed two more million points <laughs> and I would have gotten a replay. So like, yeah, the replay was at 4 billion. Mm. And so, yeah, like, so those scores are ridiculous. But like, yeah. if you play uh, like an uh, Iron Man or like a Lord of the Rings, like yeah. you, the, the, what you have to do to score points is a lot more difficult. Mm-hmm. Like you could get into multi-ball and you can you can score a lot of jackpots, but right. unless you finish that multi-ball, your 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 score isn't going to go up that much. Mm. Interesting. So. Um, so you play double play. jackpot one. <laughs> is that what it said? It's the guy from uh, who plays Gimli. Oh, okay. He does a lot of the callouts in that game. He also like he I, I think he he is uh, he does call outs in the Indiana Jones oh, the, well, that the original sense. Indiana he, he, Jones pinball machine. That is the same fellow, is, mm-hmm. is it not? Yeah. yeah. Um, well, that's cool. You do anything else for your birthday? Um, I worked. Yeah. That was a thrill a minute. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, but you told me you did one other. You did uh, you did another thing for your birthday that 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 was spat in the face of something that i did recently you you told me that uh, is this to be believed steve that you are on facebook again oh yeah sorry i forgot about that thing <laughs> you're, you're 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 on facebook all right so and it and this is this is you know related to what i was talking about just now it's mm. it's pinball related like oh, okay. i want to i want to be able to you know interact with with, you with know, the pinball people with pinball people and other people obviously mm-hmm. too and uh but it's just like you know knowing when like like mitch is usually pretty good about sending out when mm-hmm. he has like tournaments going on but like but that's just mitch if yeah. like you know chuck has something or mm-hmm. like joe has something going on right like they i can they can invite me to it and then i can go because i know that it exists <laughs> Well, yeah, that's that's useful. I mean, you could also try to convince the, the entirety of of all the people that you know to not use Facebook for for things like this and to use something less sleazy. Yeah, well, it's 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 <laughs> it's what I'm going to use it for. I know, I, I know. I, I just you know, I'm not gonna, I'm not going to. It's just basically to like, I'm gonna try to just use it to interact with people. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Um, like in real life, not like use it to interact with people. Not in real life. You like mean, pe- people that you would interact with in real life anyway. Not yeah. li- not to like be connected to people who. Yeah, I got. It. But like, I mean, I I am going to be connected to people that I'm not near anymore. Right. But like, just. Yeah. But there be but generally there'd be people that you'd want to connect with in real life if you could. Yeah. yeah. And just you know, then they could see fucking pictures of our wedding or whatever if they're not nearby and right. whatever. And you're and they're not invited because we didn't feel like inviting them (laughs) (laughs) well like you know like when i when i no but you have to make those decisions yeah when i made those decisions like a lot of the people that i know like Mm -hmm. like i i kind of focused more on people that i know that have met becky right Mm -hmm. and so like i'm like have has who is this person Has, has have they met becky if the answer is yes, there's the, they're, then they're in the let's keep them on. Right. But if they haven't, it was like there's a good chance. Yeah. Yeah. Because you can't invite everybody. Yeah. You literally cannot ever, know, ever know. Yeah. 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 No, it it was similar to similar for us. And then we had friends who we invited to our wedding um, who, for whatever reason, a couple of years, a few years later, when they got married, we weren't as close and they didn't invite us to theirs. And that was OK. And then we got not close again, but we gave. We became acquainted again years later, and there were no hot, 
There may be some hard feelings somewhere gonna, in the middle there, but there weren't there weren't really hard feelings after after all of it because we all fuck know, your feelings, snowflake. Because <laughs> after all, we all know you know there's only so many people that fit into whatever venue you pick for your uh, for your wedding or for your reception, and you've got to make hard choices. And if somebody is if, if somebody ever gives you shit about that, then they don't deserve to be your friend. Yeah, I'm gonna unfriend them on Facebook. <laughs> yes, friend them on Facebook. Just you can unfriend them. Right. <laughs> I, th- there are times when I when I regret not being on there. Um, I I have to just make sure I don't pop on it too much. I think and the same same with Twitter. Like I mean, it's a Twitter is a cesspool as well. So yeah, well it's yeah. So it's it's the same for me. Um, I have a hard time limiting how how much I pop on these things. Um, so that was certainly part of it. Um, and just the toxicity of, uh, of Facebook, um, and not liking the, the company were the other parts, but nowadays, so I'm doing this, I've been doing this project. It's almost over, um, of making a video every day that I'm 40 and I'm, and yeah. I'm, Cause like October, like around the time yeah. of, uh, of the rehearsal dinner, you're yeah, going to be going to be done. Yeah. Um, and, uh, so so I've been looking at YouTube and what I, how I'd like to continue to use YouTube because I think it's it's an interesting place and I like playing with. So video. just talk about conspiracy theories and um, <laughs> and how like you know people that went through a tragedy are uh, crisis actors and faking it. Yeah, I mean I could absolutely do. They that. They didn't actually have children or I, anything. I could absolutely do that. I'm not going to. Yeah, but, please but don't I could. because that guy's a fuck. <laughs> Um, but there is this um, there's this neat little community that I've heard about that I've interacted with on YouTube called No Small Creator. Um, but their primary place that they interact with each other is on Facebook. And so I would love to like be a part of that community outside of just commenting on people's videos and feel like I could. And then consi- they'd actually might actually or they might actually see it because. Right. Like no one should ever look at YouTube comments. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know what I I have found because um, the only YouTube comments that I leave are positive. If I don't have anything, ne- if I only have, if I don't have anything negative to say, I'm not <laughs> saying it. You know. That, well, I know that's how most of YouTube operates. But no, I I generally keep you're it just positive. a rip off of fucking some other podcast. Yeah, probably. <laughs> like right. uh, it, we we are uh, we are an amalgam of. Yeah, the things is, that we've liked over the years. Everything is a remix, assholes. So, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, at any rate, so there Woo-hoo, are times... They're ripping me off. <laughs> um, wh- which uh, which uh, machine was it that you were uh, you were number six goblin on? Oh, it was the Tales from the Crypt machine. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, you showed me that before. So you were number six on the leaderboard for Tales from the Crypt. Yeah, I, I, I liked that, like, because I... I, I, I I know that I got a high score because it asked me to enter my initials, Mm -hmm. which a lot of people don't know how to do. Well, not a lot of like if you're a pinball person, you do. But like if if you're like a. But you so infrequently. Some people like make the leaderboard. It's it's nutty because like that place is so much different than like than than flat tops. If you go to A4 instead of because like the people that go in there are like college students from MIT Mm -hmm. or whatever. Yeah. And like. There, I was playing a couple of games, and I was, you know, having some decent games. And then, like, some yeah. some girls were walking around, and they're like, "What? How do you even play this?" And I'm like, <laughs> "My head almost oh, fucking explode." So if they don't know how to fucking start the machine with the button that says "start" after you put coins in, like, oh, God. then I don't, I yeah. like, yeah, this what, isn't what, on what my. They- this what? this giant machine isn't on my phone. What are they even teaching kids today? I don't where, know. Where, what what is going on at MIT? People are paying a lot of like, fucking money, and they're not teaching them how to play pinball. Yeah, I mean, there's got to be engineers that are studying at MIT, like like some sort of mechanical engineering, mm. like is very important in yeah. the process of making a pinball machine. Yeah, and I, I, you got to believe that like it's got to be part of your like freshman symposium or something that you got to just teach them how to fucking play pinball. Or like <laughs> realize that like arcades exist yeah. and that you put coins in a slot and yeah. you you can That's push a button said. and then you push the the buttons on the side of them. I like I knew like I was like 5 years old probably the first yeah. time I played and like I, I figured it out. I, like pinball is like baseball. I think pinball is simple enough that you. I, I don't understand. How can you not understand pinball? There's a thing. I mean, you may last thirty seconds like I do, but um, <laughs> that's what she said. Um, but 
It's very, you put the coins in, you press the button, and then you tap the things on the side. So, but to Well, put I mean, it, you have to like use the, you have the, to plunger, use the plunger or, the plunger. but some of them have a button you can just yeah. push, yeah. which is, you know, you, you, if you're trying for a skill shot, it's probably not the best idea right. to just hit the button. Yeah. Um, but That's, yeah. That is what she said. Mm-hmm. <laughs> the, so if you're putting in your high score, you, you know, yeah. you move back and forth on the, mm-hmm. on the letters with the flippers. Okay. But to, to punch it in. Yeah. You, you push the start button and people oh. some people are reluctant to do that especially because like sometimes when you get a high score right you've gotten a free game so yeah. if you don't oh, want to start the God. game while you're like putting your high score so yeah. i mean it's it's but how smart. do you how do you no i my <laughs> let's say yes no my shoe <laughs> went against the chair uh-huh uh, yeah uh-huh uh-huh yeah that no, is um, a smelly shoe then <laughs> so you put in your initials mm-hmm. when you're done like say, do you always have to use the maximum amount of initials, like three? No, you or? could you could use just two, and then I I think it, you could go to the end, and it's oh, okay. like end. You okay, know. There, you tap the the flipper thing. And some of like that. the more modern machines let let you put like even more like yeah. characters beyond three in there. So got it. So, so did you put in Goblin or was no Goblin? no it was Goblin was in there like oh, okay. it was because like it was just like I think number three was like a ghoul or some I don't know like oh, God, zombie God. or some shit because it was Tales from the Crypt and then Mitch like said something about like he was like did you get an extra ball <laughs> and I said uh, no or I said yes but I can still consider this to be my uh, crown ghoul or something mm. oh i love me some puns I, well I, if you love puns watch tales from the crypt yeah you know was that on hbo or was that on showtime i feel like that was not on hbo because we sometimes had hbo but i don't think i well i don't know you want to look it up I, I never i never watched it all that much i, I do know that i i was familiar with the crypt keeper as a, as a pop culture icon but i i don't think i ever i ever partook of uh, of his uh, of his punniness, you know, his punishing pun 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 pun. Where is the fucking? Give me the. Oh, there was a cartoon show. There, wow, there was a cartoon show for a really long time. Oh, okay. From oh. 1993 to 1999, there was a Tales from the Crypt cartoon. <laughs> Shit, dog. Um, where what where did that play? I don't know. Oh, there hmm. we go. There's the Wikipedia. So it's like the t- oh, no, it was on HBO. It was on HBO. Okay, all right. Brain Games when I was on HBO. You remember Brain Games? I think they actually put it on Netflix. Oh, sweet. Um, yeah, I remember that was one that I remember, and I feel like that. No, I guess it probably was just Brain Games. There was one when we actually had HBO before the the black box where we had everything. Ow. Ow. And I I I I don't. There was there was stuff that we watched, including like one thing that for years as a kid I obsessed over seeing again, and I don't remember what it was. It might have just been Brain Games, but it was some family friendly thing that was on HBO, and I uh, I also remember seeing a comedy show that was mostly about a guy and his puppet. Um, and uh, yeah, I don't know. I'm having some some weird memories coming here. What was that show on Nickelodeon that was uh, that was on like? In the midday, I forget uh, what the fuck. Not you can't do that on television. No, no, no. This was like a kids show, like for little kids. For little kids, um, uh, I don't know. Why the fuck can't I think of it? Pinwheel. Pinwheel. Holy shit! Yeah, uh, you're not so old that you can't pull pinwheel out of your ass. Pinwheel. I think it was like on like Canadian television, and mm. I think a lot of what like Nickelodeon first put on like yeah. like in that initial like cable run was right. like a stuff like a bunch of Canadian shows, and yeah. I think pinwheel pinwheel was one of them. Alanis Morissette. Well, she was on. You can't do that on television. Yeah, yeah she, she, she'd say, "I don't know," and then she'd get slime. And they had like that like. Like Terry Gilliam, like Animated. animation, yeah, that, that, from, that, for the I, beginning. Yes, that was like that, and 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 Garbage Pail Kids, and like I don't know, there was something to that, like I don't know, like slightly realistic animated. I don't know, I, that all like blends together and for me into this warm fuzzy feeling about the about the eighties. 
even though like things that were going on like politically and economically were probably terrible at that point in I time. I guess warm fuzzy feeling about my childhood. Yeah, well yeah, I mean like we didn't have we didn't we didn't watch the news back no. then. We didn't, you know, and there no. wasn't like a Twitter feed, so thank God. No, no. I mean eventually my I remember with uh, my Cub Scout or Boy Scout, we had meetings over at my house, so it must have been Cub Scouts. Um, my Cub Scout uh, den or whatever, um, the kids coming in, we were talking to me about the, the uh, about the Wolverines, which I guess was from Red Dawn. I didn't know this, but they talk about the Wolverines, and we were gonna play the we were gonna play Wolverines, and um, and we were gonna uh, deal with thermonuclear war. I don't know. There, like that was my first inkling of like, oh. The, bombs and war and that people are trying to kill us like somewhere in like cub scout land yeah i mean the people are trying to kill us i mean it happens so many times where mm-hmm. like the 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 reds yeah. they came over and then they they, they, they they try to abduct some some people and then the high school kids uh, strike back right is that how red dawn works i don't remember i don't i don't, re- I don't think i've ever seen how that. did they why did they why did they remake that movie i, I don't know <laughs> But instead, uh, like the Rush is doing a much better job of uh, of, of uh, killing us from the inside. Yeah, you know that they, they I, those 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 wonderful Russian people they they'd find a way eventually. Yeah, I like it, like you know it had to be more covert. Like mm. it couldn't it couldn't just be like, hey, we're just gonna fly a fucking plane over and like attack this small town. And mm. do you think we're ever gonna see the P tape? I hope so. Yeah. I hope it's more than just a P tape. Yeah, me too. Me too. Are we going to end up with President Pence, do you think? Um, well, maybe, ho- hopefully he'll get implicated as well. <laughs> yeah, well, we, one, one can hope. Um, so you had a birthday. Um, I went on a camping trip. I don't know that there's much to say. We also have an email that we need to get to. Well, I don't, I don't know. Brian if- Games. <laughs> <laughs> mm. let's, 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 let's talk. Whoa. Did you I'm just not- spill? No, I didn't. I thought I did, but my um, my my cord uh, made a shot. Yeah, so Brian sent us an email. Bri- Brian, friend of the show, um, about Terminator. I don't even sub- remember when we were talking about term- Terminator. Terminator. <laughs> um, this was even this was a while ago when he sent it too. Yeah. So and we, we were. I apologize for uh, for yeah, we, the we, the lack of a show this past week. Well, you had a birthday. Day. I had a birthday. There was a lot of shit going on, yeah. uh, but we're we're right back at it. So don't worry, we're yeah. still here. Yeah. Um. So yeah. So I think this was after our last show. Um. I was talking about uh, Terminator or something. But anyway. So, uh, Brian will explain that in the email. Subject: Terminator. Hi, Chris. There are a lot of things that I want to give you and Steve shit about. Mostly, Steve's pontificating about how he's going to act as a dad. I mean, it, it, I mean, I'm sure that everything that I am saying now mm. is going to go right the fuck out the window the moment we I, we have a kid. So yeah. I understand, but I like I can I can have goals, can't I? Yeah. Now, if I talk about Dennis Leary in the middle, no, of <laughs> Brian's email. <laughs> no, I was gonna. You, what you said reminded me of a of a Pat. Not does he fast forward through the Pat and Oswald? I don't stuff think so. Okay. I think I don't think he. he no, did. but it did remind me of a thing where he where uh, Oswald talks about. Um, uh, I just I, I just code I just flipped into professor mode and called him by his last name instead of Patton. Um, Do you call your students by their last name? No, but when we're talking about the work of an artist, we use their last name. So, you should just start calling your students by their last name. You think so? Yeah, I don't remember. I don't know most of their last. Harlocker. <laughs> <laughs> we know Harlocker. No, um, that, that's that, that's a weird inversion. Um, no, so uh, but but Brian writes. But this is way more important. The proper Terminator lineup is as follows: Terminator, Terminator twenty twenty nine to nineteen eighty four, and Terminator two. It's all you need, and it's perfect just the way it is. Signed, Brian. P.S. Yes, I fast forward whenever you talk about Dennis Leary. Um, I just wanted to get that in there. Before talking about this proper Terminator lineup, have you ever heard of Terminator 2029 to 1984? Was that the one with with fucking... No! I think it is... It's either a novel or a graphic novel. I looked it up when Brian sent this uh, this message. I'm going to have to look it up again. Um, And I was not aware that it was a thing. Um... And I guess it deals with John Connor 
Um, it fills in some of the stuff from the first one. So, I mean, it basically sounds like if if you're just going to watch movies that Brian is saying, you got to just do Terminator, Terminator 2. But I, I, he, he obviously thinks it's important enough that we should... Uh, that we should um, take in ter- Terminator 2029. 2029. 20, 20, 2039. So, 2039. Oh. No, 2029. Uh, all right, so it looks like it's it's by Zach Whedon. Oh, know. is they really any relation to Joss I don't Whedon? Know. Possibly. Uh, it's it's in paperback. Um, it is it a comic? Like or it, is I it... think it's, it looks like it's a graphic novel, yeah. Um, let's see. Rising stars Zach Whedon and Andy McDonald deliver explosive action and poignant humanity in both the future and the past in this inspired reimagining of The Terminator. Before John Connor... Da, 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 da. Okay, so it's Kyle Reese um, and... Uh, do, do, do. And do, do, do. Wow, cool. Kyle, Kyle Reese and do, do, do. Yeah, and, and, and Linda Carter. I mean, Hamilton. Hamilton, Linda Hamilton. Okay, right? no, Linda Carter was Wonder Woman. Linda Carter was Wonder Woman. Linda Hamilton was like, do you, do you remember seeing Linda Hamilton doing those pull ups in um, in Terminator Two and and feeling a, a stirring? No, but th- it, it, that's funny that you say that. There mm-hmm. was a girl that I dated when I was in North Carolina, mm-hmm. and her sister was gay. Okay, or still is. Yeah, uh, but that's when when her sister oh her kind sister of figured realized. out like yeah I like girls was when she was watching, watching that Linda- scene. That's that. Uh, well, it's and I don't mean stirring in like a dirty, gross way, but I was it was one of those times. It wasn't like a popped a boner and it was but was one of those times where i was like wow this like it's not she's yes she's wearing like like what a tank top or whatever but we're not focused on um we're not focused on her breasts we're not focused on her ass really mm-hmm. we're not focused on any of the things that that traditionally a sort of a male filmmaker or traditionally like and of course it is jim cameron um but we're not focused on any of the things that do, we do, we, do we go by jim now yeah yeah <laughs> oh uh, jimmy <laughs> old jim cameron um but we're not focused on any of the things that we're sort of traditionally focused on or at least to that or point. like you know some sort of you know scuzzy guy yeah yeah but we're focused on like her back muscles as she's like doing pull and, and i was like Holy shit! This woman looks like she could kick my ass, and somehow looks like she it, she, she Chris, could. She could have kicked your ass, I, especially okay. when you were a little kid okay. when that movie All came right. out. So, oh my god, this woman could kick my ass. I I I somehow find this very attractive, and I'm very confused now because I don't really want to have my ass kicked. But oh I, no! <laughs> so why what, do we keep on digging so into the, your so the, into your into your trough the, of uh, of of was it a lesbian sister or lesbian cousin? It was her sister. Her sister. Did she expound upon that any any more than that? It was really just that. No, I think it was just like that's when like she felt like the like the yeah. I don't know the is I don't I don't want to say butterflies, but like yeah. the the sort of like you get the the, the sort of brain gasm, right. yeah. Like when you get like the ASMR folk, mm. the, the, that kind of thing. Yeah. I think that yeah. maybe happened, and yeah. you know, I don't. Know. I just thought I, I I thought that scene always was like wow. That's I I don't know. I just liked seeing her strength, I guess. That sounds well, that's that's cool. I mean, if that's what you're tr- attracted to, that's great, Chris. Um, do you know the, he was he was married to Jim Cameron. James Cameron was married to Old uh, Jimmy. Old Jimmy was Slippin' mar- Jimmy. Was married to um I think the woman or was longtime partners with the woman who was John Connor's uh adopted stepmom, is that right? The one that uh, the T one thousand killed. Yeah, and she also shows up in uh, in Titanic as, um, uh, as. Is she also one of the Navi? I don't think so. No, I think by the time they were done with Titanic, they didn't, maybe they didn't get on so well or, oh. or something. I yeah. don't know. I don't know. I read something about that somewhere, and and Brian can correct me. Uh, if I'm wrong, is there anything more in the? Email? No, that was it. He was just wanted to give us just the a, just Terminator just lineup. a brief brief uh, update, Brian. Well, uh, I'll, I'll try to not pontificate too much on on how I will rear children. <laughs> <laughs> oh, eh, that is a bad word. I don't. I don't. Not R E A R. Isn't that what it is? Is it? I think it's the same word. Oh, it's the same word. I think it's just, the same word. No, oh, well, fuck. Yeah, it's it's not. A, I mean, I, you know. I'll just say raise. I will not. Ra- I will try not to pontificate about how I will plan to raise children. <laughs> yeah. What I can't remember what you said. What, I don't know either. 
<laughs> um, it was uh, probably dumb, and because yeah. a lot of things I say are dumb. Well, then this is an invitation for Brian or anyone else who had feelings to go on and go ahead and give give Steve shit about. Um, uh, I don't necessarily want your shit. <laughs> no, no. I, uh, we've talked about that. Giving a shit. Yeah. Take, taking a shit and, and giving a shit. And it's, it's uh, taking a piss. Let's not. No. Don't. Taking the piss out of somebody. Now that makes sense. Yeah. When you when you take it, you. Yeah. Yeah. Kind of like. Like the like in Indiana Jones. <laughs> mm. Oh, when you squeeze him to get what what, what happens like in Indiana Jones? Indiana Jones in the Temple of Doom. He's like Kali Ma. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, yeah. But that that he's taking a heart out and not piss. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. What would it be like to take the piss out of somebody? I mean, would you would you like have to use a like a catheter? Um, I went camping. Oh, you did? I did. I went camping. We got just a couple minutes left. I gave him I... two slow blinks, so <laughs> you wouldn't have to hear that anymore. You're welcome, everyone. Um, I went camping, uh, in Vermont, um, and, uh, we, uh, we camped and we hiked a ledge, we hiked a mountain, um, and we went, uh, pedal boating. Pedal boating? Pedal boating. Pedal boating, which was hard as fuck. Have you ever pedal boated? Yeah, I mean... It depends on how much weight is in the boat, I think. It makes it harder. Well, I have not been on keto, so there's more weight um, in the bo- <laughs> <laughs> in my boat than there probably should. It was so, But also, there was my, my eight-year-old daughter was with me, and her legs didn't quite reach the pedals. So it was basically me pedaling for the both of us right. and, um, and filming a video at the same time, which I- she complained about that. The last, like the last time I was in one of those, it was at, uh, it was sort of a broken one that Becky's, oh, Becky's no family fun. had up at up at their camp. Mm-hmm. So that one didn't work so well. But like the time before that was probably twenty years ago when yeah. like we were up at uh, John's summer place mm-hmm. and uh, I think Joanne and I were taking the the, the pedal boat yeah. over to uh, the little dock and then we were going to get some ice cream. Then Yucko started swimming up, and then the speedboat started coming by. And I'm like, oh, shit, Yucko's going to get hit by that boat. <laughs> then he tries to climb onto the fucking thing, and yeah. then it just it, it was going to flip over. And I'm like, you fucking get off this goddamn thing. <laughs> well, um, we didn't have any anywhere near that much fun. We, we rented it for like half an hour. Uh, we were out there for 15 minutes before we were all exhausted, um, and uh, we brought it back in. And we did it again later in the later in the week. Um, but the highlight of the week, Steve, highlight, highlight of the week, we went goofus and gallant <laughs> to Ben and Jerry's. We oh. went to Ben and fucking Jerry. You get some Vermonti Python or anything? I, no, Vermonti Python is in the graveyard. It is. It's, it's in gone. The flavor graveyard. Yeah. Oh. So we visited the flavor graveyard. We went on a tour. Um, the uh, the tour involved a, um, a tasting at the end. Oh, boo. Um, but it also involved... So my favorite moment of the entire tour, this happened afterwards, was um, during the tour, there is this neat little film that talks about the history of Ben and Jerry's. And at the very end of the film, Ben and Jerry, uh, now, now aged gentlemen, come on and they start talking about whatever uh, pet uh, liberal... Uh, liberal cause they have yeah. right, at the moment, right? And I was like, "Oh, that's that's sweet, and like that's cool. I'm glad they're still sticking with their values, even though they're kind of um, they've been bought out by a bigger company, you know, whatever." So, do that. Have the um, have the thing. I I stand in line to get ice cream for uh, for my family, uh, which is hard to carry three things ice cream. Yeah, why not? Maybe take no. one. Nobody would. wanted. To, nobody wanted to stay stand in line. I wanted to stand in line. Yeah, if you don't want to stay, how about this? <laughs> if you don't want to stand in line, you don't want ice cream. <laughs> but it, so I I walked the ice cream over to where they were. They all were because they were saying goodbye to the other part of the family who was leaving that day. Um, so they kind of had an excuse. Anyway, so as I'm walking over there, I see a guy um, parked in the lot of Ben and Jerry's with an NRA. Uh, bumper sticker and so my favorite part of the entire day oh god was imagining that guy going on the tour and having to sit through ben and Jerry talking about liberal causes well the thing is before the, he gets his fucking ice cream the weird thing about vermont is that there's a lot of gun people up there i know it's I know. it's like it's very progressive and it's right. very liberal but yeah. yeah they like their guns there 
But like I, the, the the problem with the NRA as an organization now mm-hmm. is that it's been completely co opted right. by like the like because like if you're saying that people are going to try to take your guns away, then it's mm. like like common sense gun reform is right. something that that. That everyone should be behind. Yeah, like making it so criminals, people that have been charged with crimes before, violent crimes, shouldn't be able to fucking access a firearm. Like easily, legally. Like it shouldn't fucking happen. If you're you're against that, you're a fucking dope. Yeah. Anyway, so I I imagined that that this was a, that this was a a man who very much wanted his free sample of ice cream because he feels like he's entitled to that free sample ice cream, and to get it, he had to sit through um, politics that he absolutely abhorred. That's that's what he I might, might not. Imagine. He might. I, I'm, let me live in my little. I'm sorry, Chris, but I'm, I, I, I like he might not disagree with what they're saying. He might be very into the environment. He might, but he also might like to fucking hunt. I can't, I can't, and he maybe he joined the NRA fucking twenty years ago when it wasn't the piece of shit organization that it is today. But he could revoke his license, uh, revoke his membership, and scrape that thing off the back of his. He could and probably should. You like, know what else Vermont likes? Bumper stickers. A lot there of were bumper there, stickers. Was, <laughs> there were people with a lot of fucking bumper stickers. Man, I was like, I can't, I can't with the bumper stickers. Like I had, I had one on my car, my very first car. Uh, I never had one again until I got the car that I have now, and it was there was one that was on there left by the previous owner that I just didn't bother to get rid of. I just can't understand bumper stickers like, oh, like I, one bumper sticker properly centered on your car. Like, okay, I had I had a couple like on my window of mm-hmm. my first car, and I had yeah. a wow sticker and my on my other cars. Yeah, I, I don't have any now. Right, um, but I like. I I had. I feel like you gotta have one, or you gotta have a million. What the fuck? I had a Brack sticker. Okay. Brack from Space yeah. Ghost. Uh huh. Um, and what else did I fucking have? Anybody that remembers the, the 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 stickers I had on Peachy, please let me know. I because okay. like all I can remember is Brack right now. Yeah. I I just feel like there. I don't know what this. St- I'm okay with one. Like if I see somebody's got one bumper sticker. I think sticker. I had three. And um, like I had, I, but then they were all in the window. I had yeah. Brack right above the, the, the headlamp or the, 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 yeah. the lamp. Uh, Cause it was a hatchback. So it was mm. like the, mm-hmm. the, 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 not the brake lamps on the side. No, on I know what side. you mean. Yeah. yeah. But like it just. The top of the window. Level. Yeah. Yeah. No, no, it wasn't top of the window. It was at the bottom. Oh, bottom. Okay. Got okay, it. So yeah. yeah, it was right above that. Mm-hmm. And then I, I think I had one on either side see, of the window. See, that's, I, I just want people. It was to symmetrical. Plan your bumper stickers, people. Plan your bumper stickers. Or get so many that it doesn't matter. Which is what they do in Vermont. <laughs> right. But but I what I had a hard time picturing was what is this what does it look like between when they put the first one on and this stage? Like that's the stage I don't like. I, I like it when it's either one or two or three and it's symmetrical, or it's just so plastered you can't even see the back of the car. So it's like but when that you in between stage. Ugh. When you're when you're when you when you're in the in between stage of growing a beard, maybe. Mm, like I'm not trying to grow a beard, but I kind of haven't shaved in a while. Yeah, yeah. It's like this. I I hate my face. Okay. Hey, you know, if you hate my face or hate anything we've said, you can send us an email <laughs> to hot at, Clarkwoods, nice segue. <laughs> hot at Clarkwoods.com. Or you can tweet us. Um, I mean, if you want. I'm, uh, oh, fuck. At Tuesday is Loser. Yeah, That's... I'm at Tuesday is Loser. You can say yours, too. <laughs> and I'm at ECC1977. And apparently you can now contact Steve on Facebook. Yeah, you can find me on Facebook. Um, I don't have, like, a fan page set up. But yeah. Um, yeah. you could find me there and... I do. I do have. Uh, I'm not going to promote the show on Facebook because mm. I don't want to annoy everybody with it. I'll right. just continue to do it on Twitter because no one pays attention to it. <laughs> and then you're not annoying anybody. Yeah. Um, Besides the fact that if you try to promote anything on Facebook, no one will ever see it anyway. Yeah. So fuck that. But I do have like um, the link to Clarkwoods.com/hot nice. as uh, as my website. There you go. Yeah, it works. And, uh, you know, if, if you're, uh, you're, 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 leave us a review and, and send us a donation. I gotta find, I, I, I gotta find a better way to sign off. Yeah. So everybody go put a finger in your butt. Mm-mm-mm.